In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate this character with Adobe After Effects. Before we begin, let's change the preview resolution to third to lighten the load and speed up the previews. We will start with the character's body, select the body layer, and hit P on the keyboard to pull up the body's position properties. We'll need to add 9 keyframes to the body's Y position. At the first frame, click the stopwatch icon next to the Y position to activate the stopwatch and enable keyframing. After Effects will create a keyframe at the current time for the Y position. Move the playhead forward and at the fifth frame, click this diamond button here to add another new keyframe. You can also create keyframes by copying and pasting them like so. Continue adding keyframes until we have 9 keyframes in total. For the character's body, we want to create an up and down motion. So at the second keyframe, we'll drag the Y position value down slightly. And drag it down again at the fourth keyframe. Then copy the first five keyframes, and paste them at the fifth keyframe like this. Then select all keyframes and hit F9 to apply Easy Ease, which lets you ease the speed coming in and out of these keyframes, making the animation look better. There are two modes in After Effects that are available when you work with keyframes, Layer Bar Mode and Graph Editor Mode. What we've been working with so far is the default Layer Bar Mode. To toggle between Layer Bar Mode and Graph Editor Mode, simply click on this Graph Editor button in the Timeline panel, or press Shift F3. We need to have control over what happens between keyframes to smooth out the animation. And the Graph Editor allows us to do this. Select the body's Y position to edit its keyframe curves. Select these two keyframes, and drag them down like this. Drag these two keyframes upward. And we'll have an up and down motion for the character's body. Now let's make the animation a bit longer by copying and pasting these keyframes like so. Move the playhead forward to where the last keyframe is, and hit end to set the end of work area. To make the up and down motion more noticeable, you can go back to the graph editor. Select these keyframes and drag the keyframe tangent handles to make the line steeper. And we'll have a nice up and down motion for our character's body. Next we want the character to shake his body while listening to music to add some personality to our character. Select the body layer, and hit Shift R to pull up the body's rotation properties. Click on the stopwatch to activate keyframing. Let's switch to the layer bar mode. Add another keyframe here and change its value to minus 8. Copy this value to the first keyframe. Then drag these two keyframes here. Add another keyframe at the beginning and set its value to 0. And move this keyframe here. Add another keyframe at frame 48 and set its value to 8. And the last keyframe here with a value of 0. So we have 6 keyframes in total. Now let's move our work area here at frame 10 and move these keyframes forward as well. The reason why I'm doing this is because I want to leave some space at the beginning so it'll be easier to create a looping animation later. Then select all rotation keyframes and hit F9 to apply Easy Ease to these keyframes. Add another keyframe at frame 39, and set its value to minus 7. One more keyframe here and change its value to 7. Now let's smooth out the animation by adjusting the graph editor. Select all rotation keyframes and adjust keyframe tangent handles like this to create a smooth shaking motion for the character.
Next we'll offset rotation keyframes by selecting them all, and drag them forward like so. Add another keyframe here at the ending of the work area. Then copy this keyframe, move the playhead to the start of the work area, and paste it here. We want the first keyframe and last keyframe to have the same value to create a perfect loop. Let's check our animation and adjust the graph editor if necessary to smooth out the animation. Next we'll keyframe the body's X position to make it move slightly from side to side. Then offset the X position keyframes. Add a keyframe at the last frame, then copy and paste it at the first frame to create a perfect loop. Now let's keyframe the body scale to add some squash and stretch to the character. After finishing animating the body, copy these scale keyframes and paste them onto the hair scale. And don't forget to offset them to randomize the animation. Thank you. 
Then copy the hair scale keyframes to the headphone. Next we'll make the eyelids move up and down with the body movement by keyframing their position. Now let's add a little bit of squash and stretch to the character's mouth. But don't forget to adjust its anchor point. Then you can copy the headphone scale keyframes and paste them onto the mouth. Increase the keyframe's amplitude to make the mouth's movement more noticeable. To animate the left arm, we'll use the body's Y position keyframes. and adjust keyframe values to make the arm move like this. Then offset the left arm's keyframes. Copy the left arm's keyframes to the right arm. But you have to flip the right arm's keyframes because it moves in the opposite direction to the left arm.
The last things we need to animate are these burst lines. Simply add trim paths to each and every line. Then keyframe its start and end to animate it. And we've finished our animation. Thank you for watching. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. See you in the next video. Thank you.